Hi everybody, it's wonderful to come talk to you today. I hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Uh, you know what, across the street from me, they have a Dollar General and right next door they just opened up a Dollar Tree. And I have never been inside a Dollar Tree before. <laughs> so I thought it would be kind of fun uh, to go over to the Dollar Tree and see if I could buy all my cosmetics, uh, my whole face there at the Dollar Tree, and each cosmetic would be a dollar, so I would have my Dollar Tree face. Um, you know, nowadays uh, money is so tight and so many ladies are on a budget, and I really wanted to see firsthand, like, what could you do if, if you had to buy all your cosmetics at the Dollar Tree and you couldn't cheat and everything on your face had to be from the Dollar Tree. So that's what I did today, and I thought it was kind of uh, interesting and fun and some were some products were hits and some products were misses and I thought you know we could kind of go through them today and let me just say that the first thing that I bought was a BB cream and it's called chic and sassy and I bought that BB cream and you know when I bought the BB cream let me grab it I recognized it from a channel that I watch and the gal's name is Terry Ann. She talked about this BB cream being a dupe for the Lancome BB cream and I recognized it that she had said that so I did pick it up and I have to say that I just loved it. I mean I really it, love it. It, and it makes your skin look moisturized all day. It's like a, a, a little bit better than a tinted moisturizer but I have noticed that I am moving in the right direction with my skincare so I don't need the amount of coverage that I used to need. Then I bought my Wet n Wild uh, blush. Uh, Heather Silk is the shade and I think all of us pretty much know that uh, the everything Wet n Wild is very very pigmented so you have to be so careful. So I actually just dabbed a little bit on my cheeks and then sort of blended it out uh, with my moisturizer to try to get a more even look. So that was my and blush. So, and then my eyeshadow was Wet n Wild. And my eyeshadow was, I usually use matte eyeshadows, um, but this palette wasn't matte. It's shiny and sparkly. And I know that as we get older, it's probably not a good idea to have uh, uh, a lot of shimmer on our lids. But I did it anyway today, and I enjoyed it. And it was kind of nice to kind of step out of the box and... Um, and be a little wild, right? And then I bought the auto eyeliner pencil for a dollar. And this pencil, really, this liner did amaze me. It reminded me a lot of the gel eyeliner pencils. Um, did not transfer, gave me a nice smooth line. Uh, and the last thing I bought was a burgundy wine mocha uh, lipstick from Wet n Wild. Um, and I have it on now. And you know, the funny thing is about this is this is the very first lipstick I've ever put on that reminded me so much of the color that my mother used to use when she wore lipstick. And my mom had very light skin and very black hair. And so she had a lot of pink undertones. So we could never borrow each other's makeup. Uh, but when I saw this, even though this this shade doesn't really suit me. I really enjoyed wearing it today because it reminded me of my mom. A few other things that I bought, uh, some were hits and some were misses. Um, this uh, possibly is kind of like the worst brush ever in the whole world, so th that is going in the trash, but <laughs> don't, no, I, I wouldn't, I, I definitely wouldn't buy any brushes at the Dollar Tree. Um, Another thing that I bought at the Dollar Tree was uh, this Indian Hemp Hair Treatment. And this is uh, for your scalp. You massage it into your scalp and your hair, just a, a tea, a tea, about a teaspoon's worth. And you leave it in your hair and it's supposed to help you with your shine and your curls and help you not have dry scalp. Um, so I did this last night and I have to say that this morning when I washed my hair, after I washed my hair, I didn't actually recognize my hair. It feels like I haven't washed my hair in about two weeks. So I don't know. Um, I do love the packaging and I do love the name Indian Hemp, but as far as what it did for my scalp or my hair, I don't know. Even though my hair feels like I haven't washed it, my scalp feels fantastic. So I have to say, I think I'm going to use this. I'm just going to use less 
a lot less. So, and then I bought my grapeseed uh, pull off mask. Uh, 15 minutes of tightening and then you pull it off and uh, I thought it was wonderful. It just gave me sort of a, a bright look at hurt. <laughs> These pull off masks, they always hurt, but look at her. Doesn't she look like she's having a good time there? I, I, I probably didn't have that good a time doing it, but oh, uh, I thought this was a pretty good mask. I'm still researching masks, but uh, in the meantime, I thought like for a dollar, yeah, I picked up a few of these. I thought they were kind of fun. So I had a good time at the Dollar Tree store. I have to say that I, you know, I got into like the flower section and I love to arrange flowers and I thought some of the silk flowers they had was kind of pretty. So I put the vase down on the floor and I was kind of in my own world and I was putting together my own little arrangement. And actually the store closed and I didn't know it. And there was no announcement and the lights didn't go off. But all of a sudden, there was this man that was cleaning up, and he said, oh, and he kind of screamed when he saw me, and he said, there's a customer, there's a customer still in the store. So actually, I had been locked in, and the store was closed, and I didn't know it. So that was just kind of how my week started. But anyway, I got to buy the things that I picked up, and I learned my lesson to kind of get there earlier than what I did. close-knit group of girlfriends and there were eight of us and we were very very close we lunched together we clubbed together uh, we raised our families together we just were very 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 close and of all the gals uh, in my circle I was the poorest they all had new cars and they wore expensive makeup and they wore designer clothes and um, but you know they were wonderful friends and they never made me feel like you know I was the loser in my uh, thrift store dress but when we were younger and even though I was the poorest of the gals they would be in their designer dresses and I would be in my little two dollar thrift store dress and my drugstore makeup and of all of us I would be the one that would get asked to dance the most. My takeaway from that is that, yeah, you, you know, if you're creative enough and if you try hard enough, uh, you can make a $3 dress look like a $300 dress. And, and maybe a little bit of that transfers over to, you know, Dollar Tree makeup too. Uh, never feel less than just because you don't have a lot of money or you can't afford fancy cosmetics that, um, you know, if we do it right and if we stay true to who we are and we feel good about ourselves and we feel pretty, then, um, you know, our inner glow kind of comes out and uh, I think we'll do just fine, rich or poor. I, I, I think as women we do just fine. So thanks everybody for sticking with me. Uh, you saw my $6 face and today I added up everything I used and it came out to about $150 with the exception that I did as a foundation use the Dollar Tree BB Cream which is my new favorite uh, and it did go on completely white uh, but it did dry down to a, it did set up to a, a, a nice tone for me. I did have to go over it with a little bit of bronzer to the uh, give me a little bit more warmth but other than that uh, I thought it was a very interesting experiment so thank for me. you so much for hanging in there with me today 
And I hope you have a wonderful brand new week. I hope you do a lot of fun things. And when you're all done with everything in your life, you come back and see me, okay? Okay. <laughs>